Try to wheelie all the way up this thing right now. Oh my god. Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this exhaust is so loud. It's so ignorant right now. Get some wheelie juice and then uh, hopefully get to Robert before it gets too dark because I really don't know how charged his battery is for this light. I can, oh my god. I can really not see like at all how much gas is going in. Alright, so basically the plan right now is my exhaust broke off last time we were on a ride. So I kind of got my exhaust duct taped to the back of the scooter right now. And I literally just had like the tip of the header on. Well, I ran out of gas for my welder. So I decided I'm just going to go over to Robert's house, fix my exhaust, um, check out his new scooter build. Because he's redoing his whole frame right now. Which uh, made me want to do like, I think I'm going to do everybody in Mop Boys. Um, have everyone do like a scooter breakdown video and just kind of like show their scooters because like everyone keeps commenting about Robert's scooter and asking about it and uh, I was like whatever we'll just do everyone's scooter breakdown or something that'd be kind of cool so uh, if you guys want to see that leave a thumbs up and uh, we'll have a lot more scooter content to come it's like everyone's working on the scooters again lately so there's probably a lot of scooter content to come I'm gonna do a new uh, clutch variator thing of mine so uh, I guess I'll do a video on like the differences between the weights and everything like that soon Damn, they're having a party. Huge tent in the house. Oh, it's windy, it's windy. Can't tell if my seat's broken. It feels super loose, too. We always beat the hell out of our mopeds when we ride them. They're always broken after one ride. Feels kind of loose. All right, well we're still on the way to Robert's house. I need this exhaust on literally ASAP. Like this is so terrible riding like this. I forgot to check if my bracket fell off because if my bracket fell off, my other exhaust stud. Oh, it's game over, brother. It's game over. Still on there. All right. It's literally vibrating so bad because it's just a header. I don't know if you can see that. But mobbing over there. Got some wheelie juice in her. Hopefully Robert can get his moped running tonight or something. Maybe we could do some wheelies and go mess around a little bit. It also seems a lot harder to wheelie right now because the throttle's like not as responsive. Like when I crack it, it kind of dies down for a sec. Makes it super sketchy to wheelie. I haven't done this ride in a while. Got a sunset going. Rolling up to Robert's house now. And uh, yeah, pretty cold cruise over here, that's for sure. The breeze is pretty crucial right now. Oh, saved it. I got my exhaust fixed and Robert's still working on his scooter. We're trying to get him done so we can ride tomorrow. Mine's good to go now. Hopefully this exhaust lasts. Um, I just had to re-weld my header and uh, put a new bracket to my motor. And uh, yeah, so far so good. But we're on the way home now. Didn't get much, too much of a ride in today. But uh, I thought I'd film it anyways. The scooter's feeling so much better with the exhaust fully on not breaking up as much as anymore. 
I need to check my tire though. I hate that I still have a slow leak in this tire. And it get a whole new wheel, honestly. This wheel still has that disc brake welded to it. I'm not even using that disc brake right now because uh, that's a whole project trying to figure out that mounting system. I need to cut up the swing arm I have and do all that. I haven't done that yet. But uh, so I'll probably take this disc brake off, get a different wheel on there. And uh, yeah, I was thinking about getting new tires. I was thinking of getting white wall tires. The only problem is I ride in dirt a lot with this thing and I probably just ruined the sidewalls. When I wheelie, it's starting to feel like it's walking a little bit to the side and that usually means the tire's getting flat. Check it real quick at this light, it's already turning green. Oh yeah, she's flat. off the gas like too much those backfires look sound sick oh it does shoot a flame out that's crazy I don't know if you guys can see that I should one time out my like GoPro back there but that was pretty cool I thought this muffler had way too much of a muffler for it to uh, launch it out but it just launched a fat flame out the back that was pretty cool I figured we might as well check out this parking garage. Maybe we'll find something fun to do in here or something. Try to wheelie all the way up this thing right now. Oh my god. That would have been sick. I could probably wheelie down it. Oh my god. I need a better brake for that. My brake sucks right now. My idle is like really high and my brake sucks, which is like the worst combination because it just wants to like go. That's sketch. That's sketchy. If I got some new brake pads and they're like some, probably some good performance ones, I'd probably be all right without without having to get the disc brake. I saw the stock ones that came originally in my 50cc motor, and they're probably just shot by now because my brakes are just terrible. I have this, I have the bolt in the back, like pretty much maxed it all the way out, and it's still like I have to yank the brake all the way to the grip to make it come to a stop. We got this green, it's gonna turn red, watch. Three, two, one. Oh, we got that. gonna do it for this video I was hoping to get more riding in but uh, we kind of got stuck working on his scooter longer than I expected so we really didn't get to get a good ride in but uh, that's gonna do it for this video I hope you guys are ready because we're gonna go on a ride tomorrow with the group and uh, get some more scooter fun going so if you guys like this video make sure to like subscribe oh let's see if we can walk into the stoplight <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one.